You're watching Gear Up TV. Hello and welcome to Gear Up TV. This week's landing of the week came from Sven Lepshi out of Miami during a ferry flight on an Embraer Fenon 300 light jet from Brazil to Germany. Sven's details are in the comments below to go and check out the rest of that beautiful video and his other flying footage, they're astounding, they're wonderful. If you think you've got what it takes to be our landing of the week, send your details over, leave them in the comments below and we'd love to include you in the show. And there's good news and bad news this week. The General Aviation Manufacturers Association reports a drop of 8% in business jet deliveries over last year, particularly for Airbus and Boeing, which have been hardest hit. The total number of jets delivered were 2,682. This is slightly mitigated by a rise in turboprop deliveries of 4.5% and news from UBS that reports that the US pre-owned market is up 5% over last month, a fact it attributes to the Trump bump. More good news comes from Gulfstream this week. The Gulfstream G280 has now notched up its 58th city pair speed record. This one, it flew in Africa between Namibia and Senegal, where it flew for 3,248 nautical miles in just seven hours and 38 minutes, averaging Mach 0.8 all the way. We were delighted to see that De Heer has just delivered the first TVM 930 into Asia. It went to former government minister Anutin Chanavirakul, who has just upgraded from his TVM 850 type. We look forward to seeing some flying footage from that as and when he feels inclined to share it. Last, but by no means least, although Bombardier announced this week that it's cutting production of the Learjet 75 to an undisclosed figure, the Canadian manufacturer did also say that the Global 7000 has notched up now 100 flying hours and the second flight test vehicle is about to take to the skies. And the programme, despite earlier setbacks, is now on track for entry into service at the second half of this year. And we're really looking forward to when that happens. So we'll keep you posted. You're watching Gear Up TV. As we said, back by popular request, our interview feature. This week, we speak to Adam Twydell, CEO of Private Fly. We spoke to him a couple of weeks back, just after the firm had released its latest quarterly report. Link and details of how to get that in the comments below. Now, one of the things you've revolutionised the market with is that you've, um, you're built on a digital platform and consequently have been able to gather a lot of interesting data which you've now turned into quarterly reports. And I think you have some very interesting findings for um, the end of last year. Well what's, what is interesting is when a platform like Private Fly gets to the momentum that we've got, last year we had over 1.2 million flight searches so we can really see where the interest is from people who want to fly by private jet. Now, of course, not all of those people can afford to or are able to, but we've got a really large data source to collect from people inquiring, from people booking and from people flying and repeat flyers. Um, and for the first time, because of big data, we're able to release um, some information about just who is flying by private jet where they're flying, how much are they spending, what are their spending habits throughout the year, because of course this uh, in Europe is very seasonal, in the, in the US we're finding it much flatter. Uh, so there's some very interesting um, analysis which is coming out of all this data and that, that data we want to release to the industry and it's available um, from the Private Fly website that you can have a copy of the report. And that's the general feeling, that we want to share data, we want to grow the industry with everybody else. I think for far too long, this industry has been closed about who's flying. We need to get that message out. 
Of course, because that helps people to understand how best to serve the uh, people who are flying and how to grow. Is it free, this report? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, we want to share all of the information um, that will help grow the market. Can you give us maybe one interesting fact from that you've discovered from the last quarter? Well, the, the demographic of the age is quite shocking. Um, obviously, you're much younger than this, Liz, but oh, the yes. average age of a private jet <laughs> customer we've found is only 41 years old. So that's quite upsetting for some people who've just realised they're, <laughs> they're on the other side of that. Uh -huh. But yeah, quite a um, young, uh, younger demographic than first ex established. Still uh, predominantly far too male, but mm -hmm. uh, we'll see how that shifts. Um, young children flying at watch certain times of the year. Um, so yes, uh, interesting that we've got a, a younger uh, demographic and then I think most of the industry would have thought. That's it for this week. We hope you enjoyed the show. Next week, we're coming from the International Women in Aviation Conference out of Florida. If you happen to be in the area, do drop by. There are incredible women there, veterans from World War II. You've really, really, it's a must attend. In the meantime, if you like what we do, please like, subscribe and share, and we will see you next week. Bye.